I'll begin by demonstrating how to use the final product. Next, we'll download the project file from the GitHub account. Finally, we'll build and test the project. I start at the point where I've already created a lesson workbook. Both the lesson and stopwatch workbooks are opened at the same time. You may need to enable run macros on the stopwatch workbook. Click the developer tab, followed by macros. Run show SW and click the start button. Now, minimize the stopwatch workbook until we have finished building the lesson. Then, we will hit the stop button and log the entry. I'm just finishing the first workbook. I shift focus to the stopwatch workbook and click the stop button. Click the log button to record the entry, then save and close the stopwatch. Download the zipped project files from the GitHub repository and unzip the contents into the project folder. In this case, I'll choose open with the Windows Explorer and place the contents in the Extreme Excel folder on my desktop. Extreme Excel is my trusted project folder on the desktop. Rename mod underscore stopwatch. Text to mod underscore stopwatch. Bass. This is the VBA module that will test and launch the form that you will build. Create macro enabled workbook. Name it SWEEWB1.XLSM. This is a two step process. 1. Create a new Excel workbook in the project folder. 2. Open the workbook and save as macro enabled workbook. Name it sweeewb1.xlsm. Create VBA form having five command buttons and three labels. It's important that the form name and control names are exactly the same as written in the instructions, shown in red on the form. Otherwise, the form's code won't work. From the Developer tab, click Visual Basic and insert a new user form. Hit the F4 key to show the form's properties. Name the form FRM Stopwatch. Set the Show Modal property to False. Set the caption property to stopwatch. Click view and toolbox so that we can add five command buttons and three labels to our form. Drag a command button from the toolbox onto the form. Resize and move the button using the controls highlighted border. Use the Ctrl plus C and V keys to copy and paste for similar sized buttons onto the form. Place the buttons at the locations shown on the screenshot. Drag a label control from the toolbox onto the form. Again, we'll resize the label and make two copies. The second copy will need resizing again. You can select all three labels at once by dragging the mouse if you're changing properties shared by each control. We'll set the border style to 1FM border style single and remove the caption. Next, we'll set the name and caption properties for the buttons, followed by setting just the names for the labels. Again, I'll refer to the form screenshot on the GitHub README file for particular control names, red fonts on form.
I'll open SW form code. Text in a text editor and copy the contents to the clipboard. Note, I use the Ctrl plus A and C keys to select all of the code and copy to the clipboard. I double click on the form to access the code window. I select all of the code by dragging the mouse over the existing code, then hit the Ctrl plus V keys to paste the clipboard contents inside the form. Now that the form is complete, we'll import the BAS file and run the test. The test ensures that all controls have the correct names and the form code will work properly. Right-click on the Microsoft Excel objects label and select Import File. Select the mod underscore stopwatch. BAS file from your project folder followed by Open. Open the modules group, then click on mod underscore stopwatch. Select the test subroutine and hit the green arrow to test for correct control names. A message box will confirm that all names exist and are correct. If you typed an incorrect name for a control, the program would stop at the first error. You would then open the form and change the name to correspond with the name found in the test. Finally, we can test our macro by placing the cursor inside the show SW subroutine and clicking the green start macro button. You can access the show SW macro by clicking the developer tab and macros. Select show SW followed by run. Now you can run your form from here.